wait, my catchphrase is going to be Saluton! Saluton a la tuta mondo? Saluton al chewy? Well, I am about to eat breakfast. I made some eggs and sausage. The sausage must have maple syrup. The eggs, I like them over easy. I dropped my fork. And I have a lovely cup of coffee with vanilla flavoring. And I am just getting started on planning out the schedule. Just kind of planning out all the things to do and making um, basically different sprints. So the sprints will be like, um, come on, load or not. Okay, so let's go to the issues and the milestones. So I've split uh, this up into four sprints or four iterations. Uh, there is this week and then three more weeks after that of this month. So for iteration one, we'll have just doing the basic game mechanics and I set up a bunch of issues and stuff. So, oh no, my burn down. Ah, no, that's fine. Whatever. Who cares? Uh, so basically I need to write some boilerplate stuff. I'm going to have map loading and basically for the first iteration, just have one map have the character and enemy, do collision detection, and just put in those basics. And then iteration two, I'll work on the combat, so the fighting and different weapon types, um, warping to other maps, so then I'll have to make more maps. And then iteration three will be polishing things up and adding in like little static cutscenes, so I'm just thinking of having like little comic book panel type things with text. Um, and also doing the UI, so we'll need like a title screen, a help screen, um, which will have credits, an options screen where you can set the language and the sound and music. I always like making a language manager class and having the language text in a separate file so that I can translate the game into multiple languages. And so that's just something I do anyway. So, uh, yeah. And then finally, uh, iteration four, I always like to have some wiggle room in case I'm behind on something. And then also just updating store pages and getting kind of everything built for different platforms. And finding people to be in the stream to like um, playtest the game, because otherwise it'll be boring if I playtest my own game, because I'll be doing that a lot anyway. Um. And then that would be that. And so at the end of the month, we'll have a cooldown stream um, for that. I've set up a bunch of issues that I could think of that need to be done. I've assigned them all to myself. Um, and then I've put the stuff for this sprint this week under to do. And then I have everything else in here. So some of these are classified as iteration one or iteration two and so on. So as we go on, like environment art, that's probably not going to be done this sprint because I'll just work on one area's art, but then that can just roll over to the next sprint. It's fine. I, it's, I'm it's i leading the project. I can make whatever decision I want. Yay! Um, so yeah, that's uh, some of how I like to plan things. Um, I like taking notes, and I don't know where my notebook is. I like taking notes and making plans and stuff, especially when designing games and so kind of I outlined stuff here first that comes from years of delayed gratification where I never had time to sit down and program stuff so instead I would just I'd have a pencil and a paper and I just plan things out and that's all I would do because that's all I had time for because I was always stuck in class or doing other things but now I can plan the thing and then implement it, so that's weird. Alright, so the next thing I worked on was cobblestone floors for the castle, but honestly I kind of suck at making cobblestone look good, so I will probably be revisiting this to redo it later on. In fact, I'm thinking of tweaking a lot of these graphics to have a more flat shading style, kind of like the character sprite I'll be working on later. After that, I worked on a carpet that can make the floors more interesting looking, 
But I was also having trouble shading this. Carpet is a hard thing to make look good with pixel art. At least for me. So again, I might come back to these later and make them look more flat. I also spent some time on some basic decor for the castle, and I spent way too long trying to make a fireplace that just looked bad, honestly. Uh, so I'm kind of speeding over all of this art right now because I'm not happy with it, and when I make something I like better, I'll break down the steps for it more then. I like building rooms and tiles with a tile set as I work. Anytime I save changes to the tile set, Tiled updates automatically, so it's a good way to see how everything looks together. Okay, now here's actually the fun part. I began working on the character walk animation by first creating a walk template and checking to make sure if the animation looked alright. This way, I can reuse this template for different human-like characters in the game. After I was happy with the template, I started working on our main character, just doing the solid colors first and adjusting each frame as I tested it out. I wanted to make sure the animation looked mostly alright before getting to work on the details. I also took a few minutes to write a quick thing with JavaScript to test out the animations at different sizes for me, so I wouldn't have to keep exporting the image as a GIF to view it. GIF? GIF? I've don't know. Uh, anyway, I know there are better sprite animating softwares out there, but I like using free, as in liberty, software. Though saying free as in liberty now sounds kind of weird, like you have this ideal image of the USA as a country of freedom, but we aren't really free at all, so th then citing that when describing free software seems erroneous. Oh well. Hey! Inserting politics into my game development videos. Good times, good times. So yep, a lot more adjusting on the solid color version of the sprite. I had to redo her head once because the face movement wasn't looking right, but I made sure to tweak her hair every frame to give it some movement. Also, as the character's legs are out further from their center, their head will be a little further down. And then when their legs meet back up under their center, then the character's head will be at its highest point. I feel like I could be doing a better job of breaking down this process for you, but there's still a lot more art to do, so maybe this is kind of the high-level view of the artwork, and in subsequent videos I'll slow down more and explain things. Okay, finally, here's where I'm doing the outlines, and I did a little shading, but I'm not done with that yet. I'm editing this video the day after I worked on it, and Mondays are my longest working day. i um, doing my part-time job, so everything got kind of rushed. Everything is iterative, the first draft isn't the final draft, and all that. Uh, but I like getting some art done ahead of time so that I can kind of feel the game's style a bit more as I'm working on it, which gives me more ideas for how to polish things or new features to implement. Alright. And I'm literally finishing this editing minutes before I have to go to work again, so I apologize that I'm going to just leave you here. But note that these videos also have closed captioning available, and I do that while I'm editing the videos, so all of this takes time. Uh, thanks for bearing with me, and thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Okay, gis la revido!